Comes in field from Hunt to Backinson, edge of the area, little one-two, back it goes to Tyreek Backinson, who unleashes a shot, and it's tipped wide by Begovic. Moving to his right-hand side, got an important finger on it, and keeps the score at nil-nil. Well, what a good save that was. But that's been Begovic all season, really. When we've needed them, he's managed to pull off a save. Adam Smith goes on down the left side of the penalty area towards the Bristol City corner flag. Back here's Lloyd Kelly again, and Kelly shoots for goal low. Blocked away by the defender, sliding in. The goalkeeper was there too, and Lloyd Kelly would be one of the most unlikely goal scorers, but against his former club, he just wondered if the script was written there for a moment. Well, it did. Stayed forward. Kelly away from Viner. That was a clash of the two best friends and now Stanislas is low shot past the post the referee played the advantage of the challenge came in on the edge of the penalty area and Stanislas right footed shot low in the end it wriggled past that left hand post dear me I thought he cracked it there got the shot away beautifully this is in all competitions but uh, then unfortunately for them I had a couple of good results without winners Dan Juma manages to sneak through a couple and Dan Juma to great effect, the Dutchman on target again for the third time this season. Only a glimmer of an opportunity, but it opened up for him on his left foot. And into the last 10 minutes here, Bournemouth have finally broken through a stubborn City defence. Bournemouth 1, Bristol City 0. Well, you have to say for someone who's only just come on the pitch, what a finish that was. Got through the defence, and then he had the problem of the goalkeeper who's trying to stand up. But he outdoes him. He just does him a little Kenny Daglish dink over the top and into the back of the net. Absolutely fantastic stuff.